Happy Tuesday, everybody. Big waves to you. So I got to say this. I didn't think that I was going to get on this morning. I didn't think I'd be able to. So I just had to come in. You can't hear me? I can hear you fine. Okay. Okay. I thought I saw somebody that said they couldn't hear me. So I thought I was, and I, and I was bummed because I couldn't start my day off with you guys. But the good thing about it is I'm going to be picked up in just a second. But I wanted to say hello and happy Tuesday. And I love you guys. And our word for today is compromise. And I just want to leave you with this quote. And I'm going to turn it over to Andrea and Myra because they've prepared for today. And I want to listen in. But compromise, one of the quotes I came past, and I hope they don't have this. I, I steal it. But the best things to learn in life is the habit of compromise. Because it's better to bend a little than to break a loving relationship. And when I was getting through those really quick, I, that was big for me because sometimes my ego, my pride won't let me bend and compromise on certain situations. I don't know if you can relate to that. So I'm excited to hear about these word, this word this morning. Myra, I, I mean, uh, Andrea, I'm going to turn it to you. All right. Well, thank you for that, Coach. And we're glad that we got to see you for a moment this morning. And yes, compromise. I thought this was a fun one. And sometimes it's so interesting how many words step on your toes. Um, I shouldn't have to, Myra. You are made a co-host. So you should be, you should be okay, but we'll, we'll figure it out um, in just a moment. But anyway, so first of all, compromise. What is it? an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. Um, settle by making mutual concessions. And then we have accept standards that are lower maybe than what you think is desirable. And the quotes that I found about this was compromise is not about losing. It's about deciding that the other person has just as much right to be happy with the end result as you do. And that's Donna Martini, great name. And then we have to learn the wisdom of compromise for it is better to bend a little than to break. I think that might be close to what coach just said. And then compromise doesn't mean that you are wrong and someone else is right. It only means that you value your relationship more than your ego. And some of that really stepped on my toes because I can be a little bit, um, well, stubborn, I guess it might be the word for it, um, can be a little bit stubborn and want things to be my way or the highway, right? Anybody else have said that to you, their, their kids? And I do think there is so much value in compromise. And Myra is going to talk a little bit more about that. But what I'm going to talk about is kind of the opposite. <laughs> Maybe because I'm too stubborn. I'm going to talk about that, yes, compromise is so important. And we all need to compromise sometimes, but I'm going to talk about that. There's some things that we absolutely should not compromise on. So that's what I'm talking about today. So the things that you should never compromise on are the things that make us who we are. So first of all, our values, right? And we talk about values so often on here. Um, I love that the coach's corner really made me study my own and kind of analyze myself and figure out what truly is important. But we all have principles and values that define who we are. And, you know, just for example, if one of your values is integrity and somebody asks you to compromise that, regardless of the reason, really pause for a moment and decide, is this really something that I should do or is this going to compromise too much of who I am? Your faith. So I don't care what your faith is. You could be, you know, like I always say, I love Jesus. You love who you want to love. You know, I don't care if you're a Buddhist or a Wiccan, whatever it may be, whatever you believe is not something that we should compromise on our relationships with our friends and family. And these are the people that we absolutely value the most, but sometimes by being so close to us, they can kind of get the short end of the stick. I don't know, is family hold back? Is that anything that anybody else has ever heard of? Like that was something we did at our house. So if you know, you're having dinner with the family and you had some surprise company come in, you'd have family hold back. And we would all eat a little less to make sure that the company got more. 
right? And sometimes we can absolutely do that in our relationships. The people close to, closest to us sometimes get our grumpiest self. Sometimes they can get the shortest end of the stick, but we don't want to compromise those relationships because those truly are the people that we value the most. So maybe we should give them an extra serving, right? Um, those big life decisions. So we've all made choices in our lives, or we have choices that we want to make that are so important to us. For example, having children, right? Like if you decided when you were young that it was really important to you to have children, or maybe it was really important to you to not have children, maybe don't partner up with somebody that's gonna ask you to compromise that because that's too big of a life decision to really bend on. Your hobbies and your passions. So don't let go of those things that truly bring you joy. We can get so busy in our life you know, work and responsibilities that we can kind of compromise on the things that actually make us smile. So pull that back in, don't compromise that. And then your physical and mental health. And sometimes, I don't know, is anybody else guilty of this, that we can put ourselves absolutely last in the equation. But when you get on a plane, what do they tell us? We've got to put on our oxygen mask before we can help anybody else around us. So sometimes it can feel a little selfish, right? That I'm like, I absolutely need a nap right now, or I'm probably going to growl at my children. So because I don't want to compromise that relationship, I'm going to take that nap. So I'm not nearly as grumpy as I could have been, but put on your oxygen mask so you can take care of others. And then lastly, your goals. So hopefully each of us have something that is so important to us that we're striving for. And it could be a personal goal. It could be a business goal. But if you have something that you're striving for, if you have something that's so important to you to create in your life, keep striving and don't compromise. So thanks for that this morning, Myra. I can't wait to hear your part. Well, Andrea, you know, I have a phrase that I use a lot and there's been a lot of boom moments on, on the coach's corner, but that was a boom shakalaka for me because of some things you said that I even this weekend did a poor job and I compromised with family. So thank you so much for your words. It was outstanding. So good morning, everyone from Mobile, Alabama and the uh, Vestavia Rebels are fighting for 7A state championships in tennis today. Our girls are in really great shape. They won all their matches yesterday. Our guys are in a two point lead over uh, Hoover and Auburn. I know y'all didn't ask for that information but I'm a little excited this morning. I'm fixing to head out to the complex. So, you know, in order to be an effective compromiser, here are just a few ways that Mike can help. And, and you know, I think this will resonate with almost everyone on the call today. First and foremost, always listen to the other side. You know, in order for us to find the middle ground we got to first find out where the opposing side is. Maybe opposing side is a little bit too harsh of a word to use, but the person that you're trying to make, make a compromise with, you got to find out, listen to where they are. You know, we've got to know what they want and why they want it. So you got to be a great listener. So we also must understand how important the issue is to us. We have to understand that. Is this something that could possibly get us a lot of money? Or if we compromise on it, is this something that could absolutely tarnish our reputation? You know, those are things that we have to consider is we have to understand where that is, find that balance. We also have to come up with alternatives. You know, by doing this together, it's easier to arrive in the middle. If you're trying to reach a compromise with someone who is willing, as you are, to make that compromise, guess what? The resolution is going to be much easier. But if you are not working with someone and they are just dead gum bent on not bending, you're going to have to have a challenge. You're, you will have a challenge in that. So you got to come up with alternatives by doing that together, you know, and gradually, very gradually shift closer to the middle. And what I mean by that is in any discussions, always start as close 
to your side as possible. That's your starting point. Always start as close as possible to your side. And then gradually, the key word again is gradually move closer to the middle ground. I didn't say move closer to their side, move closer to the middle ground. But you know, also we have to be able to know when to walk away. We can't compromise things that we should not compromise upon. We have to know when to walk away. You know, and, and, and also above all, remain professional regardless of what the results are. Because I can promise you, if you walk away from a situation that you had to, you got to that point that made you uncomfortable and you just could not compromise and you had to walk away and it was uncomfortable for a minute, I promise you that uncomfortable feeling will go away probably within two to three days. And then a year down the road, when you go up against that person that you see later on, mm -hmm. that's all, that's forgotten. So just be professional throughout the whole process. So if you have to compromise today, just kind of start close to yourself and ease into it to the middle, but also know when to walk away. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Coach Myra, that was amazing. Amazing. Thank you for that. Glad I got to celebrate today with you uh, on the Coach's Corner, guys. We love you. Appreciate you. Have a great Tuesday. All right, y'all. Love you. Be safe, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank, thank, thank you. Have a great day. Great day. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.